Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our campaign in Divide and Conquer with the penultimate episode. And there's a couple of things we need to do. First of all, is to take Baradur, just to say that we have, you know, completed the campaign fairly, because we have Dolgador already. And, well, that's about it, really. <laughs> that's the main thing, is to do that. Also, to take the Black Gate. I would like to take the Black Gate, just because it's a cool battle map. So, uh, yeah, that'll be awesome. So, let's press the end turn. It's kind of ironic that all of these battles, look, are all just two, one tile or two tiles too far. <laughs> like, literally every single one of them. I don't know why, but it's just worked out that way. <laughs> so let's stick the end turn in there and let's see what we can do. But I hope you're all doing well, guys. There is a bit of a dry spell on the channel now until next week from when this game, when these videos come out. Just because I'm going to be away for a few game, a few days. And unfortunately, like many of you know, I couldn't really record much RIS content at the minute. My computer is just a little bit too unstable with the game at the minute. So, interesting that they want to attack Dorlingvar. Do they? Yeah, they do border it. But if we take Austin Gale, they shouldn't border it. And then we'll be fine. So, and like this land doesn't even matter. It's pointless land. Useless land for us, really. At this point in the campaign. Oh, the Harad. Well, they seem like stand-up people. Don't have any uh, Muma kill or anything like that. Give me your map information. I want to see how big you are without doing the Toggle Fog of War yet. Yeah, we'll do that next episode, guys, on the final episode. Of course, we'll do a Toggle Fog of War. Have a look at our nation and have a look at the enemy's nation. Uh, apparently, that, that was a really long decision to make. <laughs> okay, the Harad are screwed. They're rubbish. They've got three settlements. Well done, boys. Well done. <laughs> awesome work there, my friends. Awesome work. The Dark Lord of Mordor. We can accept any guilds that we are given now, of course. So we've got that battle. Whoa, Civil Disorder. Logarth. Yeah, fair enough. 50% though is, is not good. Really not good. Uh, Dorlingvar. Yeah, of course. Both quite expected, I'm not going to lie. And I was bringing this guy down. But let's just go for Austin Gale. Let's get all... Uh, actually, I don't even know whether the ladders are able to be used there. So we might as well get some rams as well. Uh, we've got a few buildings done. We don't want to click on that. Got more family members. Fantastic. Even though we're not going to use them. But it's good to see that this uh, beautiful nation would continue. Uh, if we uh, let it play in the AI's hands. Well, I guess continue. <laughs> the AI's pretty dumb. So maybe it wouldn't. But you never know. We got a lot of a lot of recruitment happening then. Let's have a look over here. I mean, a lot of it probably is retraining and stuff as well. Got these boys. Oh, they definitely want some armor upgrades. Not that they're probably even going to get to the front line by the time we get there. But we did get some of more of Ari. Fantastic. Let's get into Apple here's rest then. And let's keep going for Baradur. This is a... Hopefully a battle we can do by the end. Well, we will do this battle by the end. So let's do that. Now, Edwardin, where are the armies that were around you? Gone. They have gone. Ah, so we've taken Burr south this. I know they've got Akhnod Yorn over here. They've got this one. But is that it? Is there anyone else? There is this Dolgador town here. But uh, well, we might as well go... Oh, hello. You can take Logarth. I don't care about Logarth, man. It's pointless. <laughs> Trash settlement. Let's get a uh, watchtowers over here so we can see a little bit better. And let's go down over there. Dolgador. It'd be nice to have another defensive siege of Dolgador, wouldn't it? It'd be really cool. This guy's going in there. You guys, I really don't know what I want to do with you. Just go that way. <laughs> go and hide. Away from the evil enemies. Right, yes. let's attack this Mordor army. They really think they can win that. I mean, they have Olaghai. This is not the best army that we've given Norway, but that should be. 984. Wait, we lost 749 men. 
in that auto resolve. Well, I guess that's just more living proof that you never auto resolve, my boys. But we still have plenty big enough army, honestly, to carry on doing this. So we're, of course, going to go through the bridge. We're not going to go round. That would be slightly annoying. So we've moved Edward in. We've moved these boys. So, yeah, we do need to take Austin Gale. Otherwise, the store is just constantly under attack. Um, uh, we've moved Edward in over here. We've moved Vine Regent Harwin. So, it is just annoying, these small armies. Like, I don't want to fight medium-sized battles all the time. I'd much prefer to fight big battles uh, than medium-sized ones. You guys have moved. What's going on? Is there anyone else that we need to move? I can't actually remember. I mean, potentially some of these boys in a little bit, but they won't even get to the front line in time. Is that it? I don't think there's anyone else to move. I'm, I'm really confused. I don't think there is. So let's end the turn again. So you guys coming up. You guys can't get in there. That's fine. Get the two of those boys in there. We would have an absolute monstrous army. Oh, more of the more of the elves. Wow, I do want to get those guys out in the battle as soon as possible, really. That would be pretty darn awesome, seeing like a full elven army. That would be really cool. Why? Oh, has Logoth rebelled? Logoth's rebelled, I think, guys. Oh, dearie me. Not something <laughs> we were prepared for, but also not something I particularly care about. <laughs> Maybe this army will see action. We'll go to Logarth. That's a good idea. Well done, me. <laughs> we'll use this glorious elven army to take Logarth out and exterminate them, doing the most elven things, exterminating people. The elves love that, of course. Um, oh, yes. We'll, we'll, we'll wait one more turn at least. So let's get all these guys out of here that have, you know, good armor. And... They're not fantastic. You're just cavalry. These guys in there as well. So let's not uh, get the armor on those boys. Oh, we can't actually upgrade the uh, Moraquendi boys. So, okay. Unfortunately, we can't upgrade everyone. That's fine, though. That's not a problem. I forgot to do the building. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Look at the amount of elves we're just absolutely pumping out right now we might as well recruit them we have so much money there was just that point in the campaign when we suddenly got an absolute load of people apparently athel here's rest got elves now as well oh my god we get so many elves glorious right let's go siege down baradur now if i remember correctly we only need rams right for baradur strondos actually upgraded now that's cool so, let's just build, like, some farms. I mean, we don't really need to build, but it might as well use some of this money that we've got, right? <laughs> it's a lot of cash. It's a lot of cash, actually. Let's go for the trader exchange here. Uh, Rhubar became a city. Fantastic. Get that dockyard in there, my friend. Uh, Bert Alga. Nice. You're upgrading already. Athel here's rest got the Avari Armory. Glorious. Let's get the chicken farming. And Logarth got the standing stone. But Logarth did rebel, yes. yes um, I mean, it doesn't matter. We're going to get that other army in there, aren't we? So we'll do that. Although, let's get a couple of rams as well. Not all ladders. Because it might not even be a good thing to do. Faction announcements. Let's do the rest of the building. Let's go Naburka. Huh. Not really that much in Naburka that's worth it. Probably the Great Hall just to make sure that we're getting free upkeep on the boys. Everywhere else above this is building. Yes, fantastic. Let's go for the that in Lest. Viltor. Go for the Apothecary. For a bit of population growth. Ilanin. Uh, let's go for the Meeting Hall. Get free upkeep for that general. Not that we need to min-max that anymore, but that's fine. Uh, Hero Shrine at Dolgador is definitely a good option. Rawberg, we can't build anything, as usual. Burr Southis, got that. And Dorlingvar is building. Dorlingvar, they stopped sieging it down now, so we can actually make it in there with these boys. That should make them a bit happier. Still only 50%. Wow. Oh, dear. Right, let's auto-resolve this. Why is that not 
What what do you have that's so good? You have absolutely nothing, man. You are useless. You are pointless. <laughs> but we'll do that battle in a second. Let's just make sure we've moved everyone else. You're sieging down there. Barador's being sieged down Norway. Yes, my lord. Let's push them off the bridge. We shall engage. And let's go for the Black Gate. Okay, there's a big army there. Doesn't look like they've got any great beasts or anything. Let's attack this. Let's have a bit of fun with Mordor. Mordor's always fun to prod. So let's go and have a go at Mordor right in front of the Black Gate. Here we are, guys. Our glory... Oh, didn't mean to wait. Well, it's a little bit more dusky. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, I feel so bad for the AI sometimes. <laughs> when you give me shit like this game, I, I mean, I, I just can't turn it down. It's its filthy, but I can't turn it down at all. <laughs> they can't move here. They can get up here, though. So there's plenty of uh, plenty of space for us to do what we want here. Let's get that. They, they're likely, because it's the AI, just going to bum rush us. So let's just be ready for that. Uh, we're going to get these guys there. And likely, we're going to have to go... If we can actually path here or not, I'm not sure. Get there. We're going to get our archers right on the edge, as usual. Get there, my friends. We're also going to get these spearmen, potentially like here, firing their mi missile javis down below. And are we going to get these boys? Probably, like... We're going to have to manually insert whoop, all of these. So you're going to go there. Uh, you're going to go... You can't go there, actually. That's that's actually blocked off somehow. Don't know how, but it is. You guys just get there just to fill any gaps that's going to be a problem. Okay, here they come. They are bum-rushing us, as usual. Uh, where's the cav, by the way? I actually didn't even check the cav. Oh, well, we'll get you all actually set up in the middle. Where are you guys going? Uh, did I accidentally move these guys somehow? Oh my god, the javelin men can throw from here. That's insane, man. Well, this is a fantastic battle. Man. I honestly love playing these battles. They're just so chill and nice when you've got such a commanding position. It's like they don't want to take the pain. I mean, who can blame them, really? Looks like they're going to come and take the pain. Who can blame them, really? <laughs> Poor AI. Poor AI. We have just absolutely screwed them over here several times. <laughs> Are these, these guys going to actually fire their javelins or not? Looks like they don't want to. Well, we'll come around this way, and then they can probably fire over the top of these boys now. Okay, they're just by themselves. Whatever. <laughs> Should be able to fire over the top now. Come on, men. Fire your javies, for God's sake. Looks like they're coming. Yes, fire the javies. The Black Oryx. We've got these boys. You can go and deal with them. Looks like they've got to come around this way to start with. So, let's get in there. Start fighting. Are the javies being thrown yet? They've thrown a few. Get a bit further forward. Surely you can, like, fire down in here now. What is this? Surely you can fire, boys. Come on. Don't be silly. Are these guys even firing now as well? Like, fire on the halberds, I'd say. They should absolutely screw these boys. Oh, looks like uh, one of our units actually did die. Wow. Not expecting that one. Come on, the boys. Looks like they're going to come up this way now. Good. Spread them out. Like butter. Get going, my men. Surely you boys should be able to fire now. Fire at them. See if that works. Can you fire? Okay, they did fire this time. These boys didn't, though. Get there. What are you? Right, let's go fight them. Where's the rest of their troops? Right, let's just come down the hill, kill them all. Oh, Mordor. What poor little bastards you are, I'm not going to lie. What poor, poor bastards you are. They're all going now, aren't they? 
Right, let's get down here. What have we got? Keep going, men. Just kill them all. <laughs> As usual. I mean, when is that not the uh, the rallying cry for us? Come on, men. I know it's hard to path. No way. You should be okay. Let's uh, get the uh, these boys out. And what we're going to do is get these guys in. Do not want the Avari archers just getting absolutely shredded. Come on, men. We should just be absolutely shredding these archers now. Come on, men. Kill them all. Right, cavalry, get out that way if you can. We're going to come around this way. Get there. Run. And now we're going to charge him. This should be a lot better. Bang. Apparently not. Apparently not. <laughs> yeah, apparently that was a terrible charge. But anyway, this is the weird thing about Med 2, like... They find it really difficult to charge through the really... The units that they should be able to charge through really easily. Like, they should be able to just run through those boys. But unfortunately, they cannot. Is there anyone else that's left? Or is it just these bloody archers? I mean, where's their general? I haven't even seen a general. Do they even have a general? There we go. How many did we kill? 93%. Well, we don't need to carry on. Oh, we lost 186 and we killed 2,000. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And of course, we execute. And the Black Gate. They do have an army behind the Black Gate. Now, again, I think it's one of those where you need a ram. But I'm going to get some ladders just in case. Just in case we have to do anything around that. Um, Baradur's under siege. Good. Dante lads under siege. Austin Gale's under siege. Very nice. Let's press the enter. We've just got an obscene amount of troops, haven't we? <laughs> How many troops do you need? And we've got an obscene amount of money. Surely we are the richest faction. I can't think of another faction that'll be richer because likely they'll have to be they'll be spending all their money on stuff because it's the AI, so. Surely we are the richest faction, but I, I don't know. Maybe we're not. Maybe we're not. We might not be. You never know. We'll find out next episode, I guess, when we uh, do the finale. And uh, yeah, I, I am quite excited to get this army going because it's pretty much going to be a full elven army apart from the Cav, which will be insane. From Harad. Okay, a new host gathers to beat back the fiends who dare invade the tribe's homeland. Looks like... There's a uh, trouble in paradise. Gorgoroth is besieged. The free peoples of Middle Earth have laid siege to Baradur, the Dark Tower. Now that Sauron's most important fortress is under siege, Middle Earth might begin to recover from the injuries he has already inflicted upon it. Though the forces of Mordor have been pushed back to their capital, the war is not yet knit. Yeah, not yet over. <laughs> Baradur is no mere tower. It is a citadel the likes of which has not been seen since Angband of old. It is rumoured that no living creature can enter or leave against the will of Sauron. And also Moranon besieged. The Black Gate of Mordor has long stood unassailed, opposing all who would enter into the Darklands. Now, however, there is a force deeming themselves sufficiently strong that is determined to make war on the Dark Lord himself. Brave indeed, or perhaps foolish, is this host, for the gates of the Dark Land are unforgiving, the greatest of all walls in Middle-earth. They are wrought of black iron and defended by a vast host. To assault such a formidable fortification is to face great peril. Ooh! Even now, the drums rumble behind the Black Gate as the might of Mordor prepares to crush all those who are dared to come before it. Well, interesting. Yeah, Dorlingvar's just not a happy place, I'm not going to lie. They got a Weaponsmith Guild, though. Well, we're going to have, like, loads of lore. Just religious unrest is just crazy here. There's not really anything I can do, either. So, we're just going to leave it. Will you be able to take this if I auto? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, I didn't want to fight uh, a siege for Austin Gale, of course. Uh, what is that? It's a grog hall. We'll accept that. Have we got a brawler's pit in here? Because we don't want that. No, actually not. It's predominantly just shit. Put you down to low. Uh, we'll leave you in there for a second, Harwin. But an agent found in Athelhir's Rest. Mordor, an orc! An orc in Athelhir's Rest. 
Who would have thought it? Well, that cattle farming looks kind of cool. I like that. Burr Emericus is now ready to upgrade. Fantastic. Can we now become a city? We have absolutely smashed the economy in this game. Oh, my God. More Moriquendi boys. More of them. How is it even possible? Right. Let's get this army sorted then. It's just going to be elves. Harwood? Yes, you sound like a man. The man that is Harwood. Harwood. Hardwood. That is his name. Anyway, let's get these boys forward. Let's also get these two Avari Nah, Not Avari Naharim. Avari Archers. So five archers of the highest caliber, my sir. Right, let's get you guys combined so it's not it's not as confusing. Let's get the Moriquendi boyos. These guys. Then let's have a look at what else we have. So we've got a couple of spearmen. So let's get those spearmen in here. Big Harwood can take them. Uh, we'll get one more spearman. Then we'll get these two bladesmen. What else do we have? More bladesmen. Then let's get the Avari Naharim. So we've got three of those. One more. And then I think it's just standard cavalry. We'll take the ones with the gold upgrades. I think that's everyone. That is a pretty darn nice army. I'm not going to lie. Right. You're going to go for Logarth. It's going to take a few turns. But I do want to fight a battle with that army. I'm not going to lie. Um... So now, Dor Lingvash, oh, it will be touching the land over here. That's the problem. We're also going to probably auto-resolve this. I know it's playing fast, guys, and we shouldn't really auto-resolve, but we're at that point in the campaign now where we just want to uh, to get rid of some of this Dor Lingvar land. Brawler's Pit, we don't need that. The Blacksmith, Ration Hall, we'll take that. Dungeon. That looks alright, actually. We'll take that. War Breeder. Well, we don't need the practice range. We know that. We'll take the quarters. And, of course, build that straight away. We're down to low tax rate. But what if we leave? Now, who do we leave behind, though? That's the problem. These are This army's quite damaged. But if we leave you behind, is that enough? 50%. Come on, there, boys. That's terrible. Oh, there's no mercenaries available. No mercenaries. Well, what if we send you as well? 50%. Yes, my lord. No mercenaries at all. I mean, Edwardin can walk quite far. I wonder if we come across the next... To the next settlement. We'll have mercenaries available up here. So let's get those watchtowers in. No, no mercenaries available here either. Well, Dantelad's just going to have to suck it. <laughs> just going to have to suck it, man. Uh, let's do our construction then. End my half. Let's get that. Carverad got the cattle farming. Pothecry, probably. Mornothel got the tomb. Let's go for the communal farming. Elgaia got the tomb. Let's probably go for the great hall. Or whatever the hall is called. Uh, Burr Emericus is upgrading, yep. Tustore got the military garrison. Let's get the roads now. Dorthalu got the roads. Let's get the farming. Nice. Dorlingvar got the herbalist. They're actually upgrading. That's fine. Dorlingvar. Yeah, this is all Dorlingvar, isn't it? Yes. Fine. Fantastic. Well, you, my friend, if they're going to siege us down, that'd be great. Please do that, AI. If you don't want to, it's fine as well. I'm not bothered. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Logarth. We've got an army on the way there. See, they've got this tiny little army there. But what is it going to do, man? Yes. Same thing with the Black Gate. Right, let's do the Black Gate. And then next episode, we're going to do Baradur. We've got Balaknar Sunfire here. Look at the amount of Orc Defenders in here. And we've also got Balaknar. Is he just Temple Wards? He is. I mean, it's a pretty damaged army now because of the battles that we've had. But I still don't see this as too bad. It's a long time, though, since I fought at the Black Gate. So this is going to be interesting. So I'll see you there, guys. Here we go. It is not today. Or what? What? 
No, that is not this day. What? <laughs> Shit. Oh, Aragorn, I'm sorry. I've butchered. I've butchered you. I've butchered you, my friend. God damn, why do we have to start like five miles away from the gates, man? I don't want to be five miles away from the gates. Um, We'll stick the privateers on, on one of them. You take it. We'll go for both of the gates. Uh, so you two, let's group you together so we know. Let's then get the archers grouped and we'll get them up here. Norway has been such a legendary commander. I do love the boy that is Norway. Hopefully we can fire some jabbies through there. I, I really don't think we can get ladders up there. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> we'll leave you on ladders for now though, my friend, just in case. But it's very unlikely. We'll get those there. What are you? Oh, you're a you're a bladesman as well. Cavalry, you're not going to be so useful this uh, this battle, but let's get them there anyway. All right then. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to check this, but I very much doubt it. Yeah, there's no way we can do that, so that's fine. You guys are going to go. Do they even have any archers? That's the one thing. They might not even not even have any archers. Where the hell is our army? Oh my god. I literally came over here and all I saw was nothing. I was like, do they have an army? <laughs> it's all here. I mean, it's not that it's not that good, is it? It's not really a very good army. So and it doesn't look like they have any archers. So let's come forward with our men. Let's also get if we can get the Avari Naharim like over here, that'd be good. Uh, and then the rest of the infantry, you can all just blob. <laughs> Come forward in a big blob. Right, let's speed it up. The Black Gate, though, it is a cool battle map. I haven't fought here for ages. Like, the custom settlements on this game are really cool. Really cool. And I know, Alan, you've suggested doing the videos on them. So busy at the minute. So busy and so many things to do. So, when things have calmed down a little bit, we've got a bit of a lull in terms of content. That I might do that, so we shall see. We shall see. Come on, Avari, let's get forward. Problem is, I don't think they'll be able to fire over that wall. It's so tall. Also, it would be cool. I don't think it'd be possible with the engine, but imagine how cool it would be if they get trolls as a garrison. Because, you know, the trolls open the gates in the movies and the books. I think they're doing the books. I can't quite remember, actually. Uh, we are getting shot by the towers here, so... Yeah, no, no, no point standing there, my friend. No point standing there. Well, I will come back to you in a second, guys, when we've knocked down the gates. The gates have fallen, my friends. The gates have fallen. So what I'm going to actually do to start with... Is get these boys here and try and get them to fire their jabbies through the gate. Is anyone even defending through here? I mean... <laughs> go then. If no one else is defending, let's go. Let's also get the rest of the boys forward. If we can bring the archers into play, that would be good, but I doubt we'll be able to do much with them. Privateer axemen, let's get through. Oh my god, they, they're not defending the gate. What? But where are they? They're like, nah! <laughs> nah! Well, we've got to pounce on this opportunity as quick as possible then. Archers in, and we'll start just peppering them. Same with the Avari Naharim. If they could get in, that'd be great. Uh, you boys get you here. And let's start peppering the boys. Let's start peppering them. They even, they're even going further back. I don't know what they're doing. They're like, nah. <laughs> right, archers then. Right then, men. Keep coming even further forward if we can. And let's get the archers forwards. And then let's get the Avari Naharim. Uh, get there. Even further forward. Looks like we're getting shot now by archers. I mean, the problem is here, if we engage them on the, the town square, they're just going to last forever, which is not what we want to happen. Now we're starting to fire at them. They won't like that, and they'll come forward. Good, 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 good. Right, archers, we want to fire at the temple wards, ideally. Same with the Avari Naharim. They can reach him. How far is your range? Not that far, is it? So, we'll keep on firing anyway. Fire at the Orc Defenders here. Let's speed that up again. Nice. Get it. Get a bit of power coming through, man. Get a bit of power. Get a bit of power. 
I love the golden look of the army now. Honestly looks unbelievable, doesn't it? Like, look at the Darwinian infantry. They look unreal. Look at those boys. They all look so good with the gold upgra upgrade. I'm so glad we got to see that. Because I didn't even know that. I knew they, they visually upgraded. But I didn't know to this standard. It looks amazing. See, they are Moriquendis. I'm wondering... These are Varis. Yeah, I think they've got them the most of their upgrade. And that's as they don't get golden. These guys do, though. They look pretty darn cool, don't they? We are just peppering them. <laughs> right, you guys move in now. Same with you. Let's try and get around them. Kill them all. Yes, there we go. You guys get in the fight. Good. And archers. I mean, there's not really anything to fire at apart from the Black Uruk archers now. Oh, what a glorious, glorious siege of the Black Gate. I'm wondering what happens the other way around, though. Like, what happens when they siege from this side? Is it the same battle map, or do we just defend the canyon? <laughs> probably defend the canyon, and honestly, that's probably not that hard with an army like this. So, yeah, that's fine. Ooh, what are these? Orc defenders. Fire at them with your last remaining arrows. There we go. Absolutely shredding this army. Like, where even are the temple wards? Oh, have we killed them? Oh, we, we just killed them all. <laughs> go, 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 man, go! The horde, the golden horde. Nice, I think that's the name of... That'll be the name of this episode, the golden horde. <laughs> that's cool. I do like that. Oh, there, there was a few temple wards left. So they're going to be hard to kill, but... They will die eventually. They are very, very good unit, as you can see. I'm so glad we took... See, I'm so glad we took so many of them out with the archers, because look at this. No one's even died yet, and we are playing on time six. That is crazy. Come on, boys. You can do it. You can do it, men. Anyone died yet? I mean, no way. Let's plus this... Uh, they've started to die now. It just had to get rid of their armor and their hit points and that. Single Orc Defender over there. Is that... That'll be lag... Oh, uh, although... Uh, no, that's Gash. Gash, you died. Not... Uh, Dingy Sunfire? Balaknar? It's Balaknar, right? I think it's Balaknar. Is it Balaknar? Yes, it is. Right, in fact... Let's just fire jabbies. <laughs> Everyone go! The Golden Horde! They keep coming. They never stop. They ne Oh, they're shredding the archers. Is there anyone else? No. <laughs> nice! We absolutely destroyed them. I'm interested to see if we do get a defensive battle here, though. So I will see you on the campaign map. Glorious victory! The Black Gate is ours, my friends. I think it's honestly worth exterminating just so they're not so upset. Here we go. The Black Gate. Iron Gates. Nice. Anything else you get from this? No. Also got the Towers of the Teeth. Very cool. Uh, Dominion Camp. Well, nope. We'll take the Carpenters. Brawler's Pit. We don't need that, of course. I mean, get some law from that, but let's get rid of it. Uh, catapult maker, we can actually use that, right? Uh, what else do we have? Way station. Oh, that's good. And a beast cage. We don't need that. The only beasts we need are the elves. <laughs> well, I can't really see. It would be cool to take the Durfang, but yeah. Let's not worry too much about that. And um, we're going to go for Barad Dur. Oh, I did accidentally just click off the game, and that's what happens. Sometimes the uh, the cursor will go off the game, and sometimes it won't. I don't know why, but uh, I'll see you when it loads back up. <laughs> I'm not sure that worked too well. Okay, scrolling around sorted it, so... <laughs> uh, that felt like the, uh, the Call of Duty going through the floor glitch. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh... But, 
No way the Great has taken the Black Gate, and we're about to take Baradur. It's just unfortunate that it couldn't be Athel here or Avalyn, both of who died <laughs> miserable deaths. <laughs> We've got Edward in over there. We've got Harwin in here. Honestly, guys, all we need to do now is take Baradur, but I want to save that for the final episode. We'll probably do the Battle of Baradur and then assess our glorious campaign. Um, you know, it's been a pretty good campaign, been pretty fun, I'm not going to lie. Really have enjoyed that uh, campaign. Also, yeah, we need to go for Logarth. <laughs> Come on, Harwood, Hardwood. Get going, my friend. Get going. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It always does really help the channel out. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all again on the next video.